Morning y'all, we're on our way out to Dalton Lake. Our first YouTube video, we're gonna try this, give it a shot, see what happens. We did try a few different things today. We had a thunderstorm the other day, so I'm not sure how good the fish are gonna be. Uh, they were a little skeptical on Saturday, kind of hard to find. Um, most of the time, though, up here we're throwing sinkos in the shallows. Uh, but I think they're drawn a little bit deeper now. They're, I think the females are done spawning. Uh, they're working their way out. So, we might end up trying some crankbait. However, there's one spot where top water is always good, so we're going to try a uh, buzz bait with kind of a bluegill looking skirt. And then we're going to try a little bluegill lipless crankbait. Uh, it seems like they're always chasing them down here. So, we'll uh, see if we can't get them to go after some bluegill type baits, or like I said, the Senko. The Senko is always a favorite out here. Even in the deep, you can let that Senko fall real slow, but uh, they'll still hit it. Anyway, see you on the lake. Okay, so as you can see, beautiful today. Uh, we're probably going to have to be a little stealthy. Uh, so here's the baits we're going to use. First bait we got is a bluegill colored lipless crankbait. That's going to be a, if they're a little deeper, we'll have to find out. Uh, the second thing we're going to use is Buzz bait. Now normally I would use a black buzz bait here, um, but I really wanted to try this different skirt. I thought it was a little darker like bluegill, but it wasn't. So we're going to try this different skirt. If this doesn't get anything, then I'll obviously go back to the black. Um, just because they do like the darker colors, which is why we're going with this frog. Now this frog can be used as a swim frog, but what I like to do is use a worm hook and fish it top water. Um, give it that boop, 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 boop sound, and it, they just seem to attack the crap out of it. And then obviously, see those green pumpkin, black flake. Um, I like Yamamoto, but what I normally do is a Bass Pro Shop Tourney Series Cinco, and that, it's a little bit thicker of a material, they're a little bit stronger. Uh, last a little bit longer than the Yamamoto's, I believe. So, we'll see what happens with that. Anyway, see you on there. Okay, so there's a lot of weeds. I just want to give this top water a try real quick. See a lot of top water movement going on. Usually get something right off the bat here. See if we can fire them up. Even the frogs getting weeds. I think this frog might have had it his day. Try slow retrieving it. change frogs real quick. That's better. Oh, there we go. 
little guy chomped right at it. Top water. They like it. Oh man, I can't hardly. Didn't quite get it in his mouth. Come on, buddy. Pretty little guy. Put him back. That gives me high hopes over here for my sweet spot. They're a little bit bigger on that top water. He almost couldn't get it in his mouth. quality of the fish get a little bit bigger over here. Hate to ruin a Cinco hole though by throwing a frog in it. Seems like in the open this frog doesn't do <clears throat> any good, but if you run it right along the top of that weed line, they come right up out of the weeds and just annihilate it. Might have to switch to Cinco though. So basically with this lake, Anywhere you see movement on top of the water, pay attention to it because there's usually bait fish getting chased or um, the bass are coming up and they like to come after dragonflies. Seeing them leave the water for dragonflies is crazy. All right, got more casts with this and. We'll uh, switch to Cinco and see what we can't do over here. I really like that spot right there. Nothing. And it's a little deeper. We could try that rattle trap. Try this corner first. Beautiful overcast. Oh, there's one. I think he's too little. Yeah, I can't even get it in his mouth. That's awesome. I bet he didn't even phase my Cinco. Nope. So, try a little bit past him, a little further out. Pull. 
hear some movement. Something moving around under the water here. Saw a little drop out there. Let's see what happens. Yep, they're being elusive today. I should have already hit two or three fish. to the bank snakes like to join you for the ride out here oh a little deeper oh got off I didn't really set the hook on him he's just a little guy came up from the deeps to get that Get up there. And if this don't work, then we'll go back to uh black. Weeds are high up there. Let's see if we can run it across them. All I need is one to hit this, and then I'll feel comfortable about using it all day, seeing what it'll hit. I just don't want buzz bait. Oh, something tried. Just didn't get it. There's a big fish.
There he is. All right, so I'm confident in the color. Oh, shit. That's good catch and release attitude right there. Hold on, fella. Pretty little fish. Just over 12 inches. See you later, little buddy. Wonder if that was the same one that came back. I saw a bigger one in here, though. So they are out deeper, but they are coming up for the buzz bait. They like this point. There's another one. Oh yeah, they like this buzz bait. Pretty. Something tells me about the same size, which is about all the bigger they get over here. Yep, just over 12. Can't keep them. It's all right. What I'm after is that log anyway. They are a little bit deeper, but they're coming up after this buzz bait. Still waiting for that big one. Come on. Boy, he liked that Cinco. Little guy. Just over. There's always one on that spot. That's what you do. Get that bait back up in there. Turn it down just a little further. It doesn't matter if you're bait sitting up on your line it actually makes it fall a little different but not too bad I actually think it makes it fall better and you can take your hook and get it below that spot that he just chewed up and now we're still good and we still got room boy that wind really took us
must have a knot in here. out of 10 with the Senko is usually when you're not paying attention to it you feel that little bite. There's a big rock right here. They sit right inside that rock. Or right outside of it. Just waiting for the next best thing to drift by. says there'll be one right there too. Maybe not. Gotta be carp. Trying to play right in front of the weed line, letting them sink right in front of that weed line. According to the depth finder, there's a ton of bait fish under me. Probably a school of something or other. I don't see them. I'm about four foot down it's about 11 foot right here there's one. Oh, he's trying to take it there he goes look at this little guy a little bitty thing going after that Senko Little bitty guy. At least the little ones don't mess it up too bad. Still get some use out of it. So if that little guy grabbed that, that tells me that the other little guys that grab it, they can't get it in their mouth, they're really little. Oh, little guy went right after it. There he is. <laughs> oh, couldn't get it in his mouth. There we go. And a little bitty guy hit that big old buzz bait. Oh, catch and release. Favorite spot to fish. This corner. <clears throat> that wind is really blowing me bad.
perfect. Oh, that is fish. Feel and bite. Yeah, you got it good, didn't you, buddy? Oh, right away. Oh, I missed him. So there's another one in there. You don't want it. Alright guys. <clears throat> so. Got a call today. The wind picked up a little bit. Um, I did however. Let me turn around this way. I did however figure out what was going on. They were a little bit deeper. They were actually sitting just outside the weeds. Um, about 10 foot of water. And the only thing I could get them on was uh, Cinco. And I had to let it completely free fall there was no no other option and then uh you know that produced this guy pretty decent i got a four pounder that way and a one that was about three and a half uh so right now i'm limited out i like bass um we're gonna hit one more little spot on the way out and then uh i'll continue to go in here in a little bit and we'll go from there I'll tell you exactly what I used and how the day went. Actually, I could finish that up right now. I used, uh, I ran out of Cinco's actually, um, of the pumpkin. So I ended up using watermelon with black flake. And that actually worked out somewhat decent enough to, to get them in. Um, but they were just swallowing them. They annihilated each one. So if you guys come out here to Dalton and you're using Cinco's, pack a lot. I have a 30 pack coming from Bass Pro. It's like 10 bucks, $6 shipping, $7 shipping, something like that. Um, still makes it cheaper than anywhere else. However, I when I switched baits, the watermelon ones I were using were Strike Kings. And the Strike King, you get less in a package, but it did seem like they held up just a little bit better. So I don't know. I don't know if it's that worth it, but I was getting more bites and more fish off the pumpkin. And that one, the Yamamoto does okay, but the Bass Pro ones really work good. So I uh, did catch a couple off spinnerbait, or I mean uh, buzzbait, and then got a few off of um, frog. So the frog was fun. Uh, mostly dinks went at it. Didn't really, they couldn't even get it in their mouth. They got like a foot in their mouth. So I got like two off that. I probably had a total of 20 fish today. So not too bad. Um, I think it's only like three or four o'clock. Dalton is not a morning for bass. Uh, I tend to do well in the afternoon, evening time here. Note to self, I guess I'll come out later next time. <laughs> Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll be posting pictures along with the videos. So, sorry about not being able to video those catches. Uh, battery went dead on the GoPro. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed my first video. Have a good one. Keep on fishing.